Hey everyone, welcome back. Lad from the Woods here. Well, we have arrived at White Sands Campground, Sable Beach. Uh, the road vlogs, you know, cover all the trip down here. It was uneventful, good trip. Um, it's actually made more better time going all back roads. I never even touched a major highway, never went more than 80 kilometers an hour the whole way. So, saved gas and still saved time. Never had to go into Owen Sound, never had to go into, through Collingwood, any of it. It was great. The only booboo -boo I made is I should have gone north above um, Aurelia. So we ended up going right through there. Well, I went, went through, there's no we. So, but anyway, no matter, on the way home, we're gonna fix that. But this new way that I came, you guys will see in the other videos, uh, the portrait style videos. I'm really happy about this drive. <laughs> oh yeah. And I feel good. I'm not sore or stressed out or anything. So anyway, Lisa knows I'm here. She's out uh, raking or something. So she said that she had to rake here yet still. So I don't really see that she has to rake, but it's up to her. I'm not, you know. Anyway, I, I was sitting here fretting which, where to put my tent. And I had it originally there last year. And I like that spot, but it's kind of got like a little low spot. So when it rains, the water will come underneath. Now it wasn't a problem last year because it did rain when I was here. So, but there are a couple other spots. That's kind of like on a hill. And uh, so that doesn't work. Um, this is not a bad spot. So, see, there's like a trail here. I don't think anybody comes through there, but I, uh, see, if I put it here, then I'm facing out, and I'd kind of rather face sideways to the campsite. So that's why I was thinking there. So there's another spot way over here, but, you know, same deal. I guess I could turn it sideways, but that seems silly, like that way over here. And my kitchen tent's going to be there, so I'd rather be kind of close to the kitchen tent as well in case it's raining I can just you know without getting all soaked so I think uh, that decision's made so I've already um, popped the tent things into place I'm just going to drag it over here so it's still wet from this morning or last night's rain there at home but she'll dry out quick once she dries out I'll get the silicone to her Gas prices are not unreasonable. Nothing, uh, nothing that uh, I don't see at home. So I thought it would be a lot more expensive here right now, but that's not the case. Not the case at all. Yeah, I liked this setup last year. It's a good spot. And that keeps people from coming through anyway in case it does happen. Uh, oh. A little bit more maybe. There we go folks. Now we just got to do a lot of staking and pinning and I'll be moving the table over. It's going to be, the fire pit's been moved, so, because um, it used to be further over there. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but anyway, we'll figure that out after. Floor's a bit wet. Nothing that can't be dealt with, as they say. Uh, I guess opening the screens would be a real good start. I forgot I forgot my big fan well it's too much for this tent anyway I brought the small one it'll have to do there 
We got the uh, the awnings up. Then we'll put the big we'll get the blue canopy out. Put over top of it. So when it rains, it won't be coming in. Okay, I guess I'm out of the camera view, eh? I've got what about three hours before it's dark, so I've got lots of time. We made good time, I'm really happy. No fans or butts about it. side. I guess you guys are coming with me. The best thing about sand is it's flat, <laughs> unlike rock at home, eh? It's nice having the water for the dishes right here. I can just fill up my little blue jug. And... It's going to be cool tonight. You can feel it. That helps keep the poles too, eh? Spread apart properly. So there we go. I'll wait before I put the carpet in, just let the wind get to it a little bit inside. It's not super bad or anything. I'm putting the carpet down anyway, but I'd just rather it be dried out. So I gotta put pegs in and everything. So, so we'll do that after. Okay. The next thing I parked all the way over there. I don't know what I was thinking. I should just pull this thing back closer here, and then I think that's what I want to do. And then I'll push the boat back here for later once it's unloaded. Thought that tire was a bit low, but it's not. It's fine. Okay. I think I know the best way to do this. Definitely not holding your this camera with you guys on it. I like that plan too much, but I can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight up that hill, straighten right out, and then I'll back in next to the fire pit. Sorry, guys, they only come from this way, nobody's allowed. So, if anybody's coming up this way, that's their fault if anything bad happens. So, glad I don't have to be on that side. Perfect, actually. I'm gonna hit that tree. Look at that. Apparently I can still back up the boat. At least here in Sable Beach. Look at that. Jack the bear. There we go. That's how I loaded it last year when I left here. It's pretty much exactly this spot. Okay, so I want to keep charging this phone, so I gotta put that back on. The music's gonna come flying on. As soon as I open the door, something's gonna happen with the music. 
course you're not going to do it this time, you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. I can set you guys down that here. Ah, canopy. two identical so the other one I haven't opened yet and I've only brought it for an emergency just in case they were so cheap and after last year I've learned emergencies and just in case they work pretty good <laughs> I won't be without a canopy go through that shit I went through last year after the thunderstorm hey okay. anyway precipitated the whole bus episode. I wanted steel between me and the sky, but not happening this year, but that's above the tent, and we got the master cavity for the kitchen. We're okay. We are okay. already kicked itself in. There we go. So now we get our big see this is like a one man operation. They say two and it is easier with two but for those of us that aren't two canopy soaked. Oh there's a lot of rain on it I guess more than I thought. We've had a shit pile of rain these last few weeks up there. And it sure looks different than from here. I'm living in a fucking rainforest. <laughs> I'll move you guys this other way now. Lisa's gonna go. Just come walking up, and she's gonna be like, you're talking to yourself. I'm like, no, I'm doing the lad from the woods thing and I'm taking it serious this year. <laughs> Especially if I can help get some people coming here camping for fishing, fishermen type people coming here. People that are likely to stay two weeks at a time, you know? It's only 42, 45 bucks a night, and it's a nice campground, guys. Like, this isn't the half ass campground here. So, the washrooms are clean, extremely nice. Always clean, even on the weekends when it's party time, nothing goes dirty here. Nothing. And believe me, they deal with a lot. <laughs> the kids, eh? Now. Okay, I need the holes. <laughs> I'm fuck with the holes. <laughs> well, there they are. Okay, number three. There we go. I couldn't see the holes there. Well, that doesn't bode well for my future. Some of you are going to. Crack on the joke there. Digger will probably get it. <laughs> That's the 
kind of talk we don't do in front of children though, right guys? <laughs> A man bigger, he knows. Um, when I pulled in, I'm happy to see there's a, there's a uh, bunch of people in the campground. This looks good. I, it's not empty on a Monday. Maybe they're going home today, these people, but they're not.